Hey everybody, Harris here with iDownload Blog. Today we're taking a look at iOS 12 developer beta number 6. This is coming out about a week after beta 5 came out, uh, so they're getting to the point where they're pretty frequent um, and updating with new features and fixes and patches, as well as performance improvements in general. This update for the iPhone 10 is coming in around 450 megabytes, so a fairly hefty file at nearly half a gigabyte. Uh, and it's about 100 megabytes smaller for some older devices such as the iPhone 5S and SE. And this is also coming out with new updates to the tvOS, to Mojave, and to watchOS 5. And you can get all those now with the developer profile. So right away I found a couple new splash screens. The music application has a splash screen for discovering music videos, video playlist, and ad-free videos. And then the iTunes Store has a splash screen as well. When you're in the home application, you can see that this is the previous wallpaper. The two wallpapers that were previously here have been replaced with new gradient wallpapers, and I think they look much better. So by hopping into the home application and going to home settings, if you go in and choose from existing, of course you have all your photos, but then you also have the three gradients, the blue, the yellow, and the green. And I think these look much nicer than the old ones, which were just kind of interesting. The camera section from messages, you now have the toggle for photo library in the corner. A smaller feature would be the clock application, now having a bolder and more defined hands. It uh, just makes it a little bit easier to read the clock. Now, I've not had any issues in the settings application, but I've seen lots of other people complain about issues where the settings application is freezing or going black, depending on certain menus that you go in. I've not had any issues except for setting a new wallpaper on my lock screen, causing it to respring. But outside of that, I have not had any issues, uh, but beware that some people have been having issues with the settings application. There's been another slight tweak to music in the lock screen. The AirPlay symbol now is a little bit more refined, and you now have the new circle encompassing the AirPlay icon, so that is a slight change there, um, and this keeps getting tweaked over the betas, but that is how it is currently looking. Apple's also said that they fixed bugs with Siri and some of the shortcuts and launching applications, as well as sending cash through Apple Pay Cash. Um, for sending and receiving, they said they have fixed a couple of those, but there are some new introduced bugs such as the Apple TV third generation not being able to use as an AirPlay hub with the Beta 6. That is it for Beta 6. If we find any more changes, we will update those on idownloadblog.com. Thank you for watching. Follow us on social media and subscribe for more videos just like this.